we continue our reading of God's Dream for You, the Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Today's reading, August 11, The Lucky Royal Turtle. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. Psalm 40, verse 8. In Vietnam, they were calling him the lucky royal turtle, for he could have ended up in a savory Chinese soup somewhere, had it not been for a stroke of good fortune. Wildlife officers raided a smuggler's house in southern Vietnam's Tê Ninh province and discovered a cache of live contraband, more than 30 turtles destined for sale in China where turtle meat is considered a delicacy. But Lucky stood out big time, a 33-pound giant among the small reptiles. They'd never seen a turtle so large. A consultation with an Asian turtle specialist determined that the big one was a Batagur Basca, an Asian river terrapin, a species from Cambodia thought to have disappeared, but recently rediscovered and subsequently declared protected by King Noradam Shyamani, hence its name, the Royal Turtle. But the clinching identification for Lucky came when there, beneath his wrinkled skin, was discovered a tiny microchip. Proof positive he was both rare and protected and now saved. Like a microchip hidden under the skin, our text today declares the word of God hidden in the heart as the clinching identification. It certainly was for Jesus. According to Hebrews 10, 5-7, the words of Psalm 40 are his own testimony. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. Verse verse 8. The Hebrew word here for law is Torah, which narrowly describes the divine law and broadly includes the entire written corpus of divine revelation. When a new chief justice of the U.S. Supreme Court places his or her hand upon the Bible and swears to uphold the Constitution in a limited sense, that word describes the original document that is the bedrock for American jurisprudence and governance. But the oath is also understood to include the laws of the land that have expanded from the original document. Even so, when Christ declared, Your law is within my heart, he was declaring not only his allegiance to the Torah law of God, but also to the Torah word of God, both treasured and hidden in his heart. So, is it a surprise to discover that this same microchip is embedded in the hearts of his friends? God calls to his chosen ones, Listen to me, you who know righteousness, you people in whose heart is my law, Isaiah 51, 7. Or, as the New Living Translation renders it, you who cherish my law in your hearts. Cherishing the law in their hearts, just like Jesus, that doesn't make his friends lucky. Luck is for turtles, but it does make them blessed, very blessed indeed. This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the Chosen.